Hello. Jesus' gift of life. We're all so used to the sights and sounds of Christmas. It seems that there was maybe a golden age of Christmas songs written in the 70s and the 80s that has left us equipped forever more with the obligatory sounds of the season. Now here it is, Merry Christmas, mistletoe and wine, last Christmas, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Not too sure about the usefulness of that one. The Christmas season, it seems, is part of life part of the ever-accelerating annual patterns that make up the fabric of our lives. Incidentally, it's become so much part of life that some modern thinkers have suggested it be scaled down, even abolished. One university was encouraging people this year to greet each other with the rather catchy Happy Winter Closure Period. I'm not sure that does much to add to the enjoyment of the season. However, as we read of the oh so familiar scriptures and begin to digest what they're actually saying to us, then we see that Christmas is not just supposed to be part of the routine of life, but something that turns life on its head. And indeed, rather than just making the winter closure period more enjoyable, it actually introduces us to life, real life, perhaps for the very first time. Nevertheless, there'll be no more gloom for those who are in distress. In the past he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honour Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness. A light has dawned. Jesus said of himself in John chapter 10 verse 10, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. His purpose was to reveal to us a quality of life that we haven't known before and it's impossible to know outside of Jesus. The individualism of the world we live in means we can be very focused on our life and the quality of it, the length of it, the happiness and the satisfaction we derive from it. We only have one life, we say. It's not a dress rehearsal. We have to get the most out of it that we can. The problem is that it's not always a realistic or achievable goal. Life has a habit of producing curveballs and upset, confusion and surprises that mean we're not really in control of our own outcomes or our own happiness. So when Jesus comes into the world and into our lives, his promise of life is not necessarily that all our dreams will now come true, that our Christmas list will be met in full but that we'll be in direct relationship with the author of life, the source of life, the one whose manifestation of life is so overriding and powerful that even the most brutal death couldn't hold him. In connection with Jesus, we're not a light bulb that will one day diminish and die, but we are connected to light and life itself that can never diminish, fade or be overcome by any darkness, no matter how dark or how deep. He doesn't come to make the life we have a little bit better, but to take over completely and to give us a new outlook on the life we live now. And because we're connected to eternity through faith in Christ, the life we will live forever with him. As well as all it gives to us, Christmas can be a drain on our energy, our finances and our joy. Jesus promises so much more than that. Life that is complete, satisfying, power fueled and never ending. That's his gift to us at Christmas if we will receive it. I want to close with an, an adapted prayer that somebody has written and have adapted it for our devotion this morning. Let's pray. God, our creator, we offer this humble prayer this Christmas. We worship with a song of thanks in our hearts, a song of redemption, a song of life, of hope and renewal. We pray for your abundant life to flow this Christmas. We ask for your gift of life for all our family members and friends and we speak vibrant life over a world living in the land of the shadow of death. May your life be manifest in bread for the hungry, love for the unlovable, healing for the sick, protection for our children and wisdom for our world. We pray for forgiveness and abundant life in Christ for all. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.